What's up, y'all? We are back at Disneyland again for the Food and Wine Festival. We literally already placed our order for all of our food. Just in case you guys did not know, you do get a five discount, a five discount, a five dollar discount on this pass if you are an annual pass holder. So fifty four dollars for eight tabs, or fifty nine dollars if you are not a pass holder. And we are ready to grub. A little Nate. quick tip too for you guys, so you guys don't want to wait in line. You can actually go to one booth and then order all your food at that one booth. Yes, I That's highly nice. recommend that. We learned that over the time now because now that we did the Disney holiday one and then we did the Lunar. It seems like this isn't food and wine at all. This is just year round type stuff that they do yes. now. It's not even special, I feel like. To be honest with you, I don't really like coming to Disneyland too much as I've stated several times before, but with the food Especially and wine festival. Especially today, I mean, it's crowded as it, heck. It's a Monday and it's extremely crowded. It's but spring I do, break. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm so stupid. Uh -huh. um, I did forget to say though, I mean, I was going to say though that I absolutely love the food and wine festival though because you get to try everything and there's so many different impossible options. So within today's there's video. too much though. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. I'm going to be eating all the impossible vegetarian stuff. Nate is going to be eating all the the, um, well, not all the meat options, but mostly meat options because I'm you guys try some vegetarian options too. Yeah, this one last time, if you guys did not check out our holiday one, he actually liked the impossible stuff more the than meatloaf. the regular meat. Yeah, the impossible meatloaf was pretty damn bomb. Anyways, we already placed our order, so we're gonna go pick up our first things. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. So, the first place that we headed to was LA style, and I got the impossible uh, gyro. How do you pronounce it, Nate? Gyro, gyro or gyro? Gyro. For the longest time, I was calling it gyro. It's gyro, like European money. Oh, like gyro. Okay, it's anyways, it's gyro literally never know how to pronounce that i've been calling it gyro forever but it's hero um anyways I was calling it that until i went to greece um i didn't go so i wouldn't know um anyways this is a gyro inspired oh i said call it gyro again hero inspired flatbread featuring hero? impossible ground beef isn't it hero you just said hero you didn't even say hero you oh it's hero. hero okay sorry hero my bad <laughs> um impossible ground beef with chipotle hummus tzatziki and spiced crispy chickpeas these are the same um chickpeas that were in the uh, impossible mac and cheese that I liked. Or wait, it was an impossible mac and cheese. It, it was, was just mac and cheese, man. This actually looks delicious. So let's see. I love me a good gyro. This is bomb. I said it before. If you guys have not checked out all of our food videos from Disney, I normally don't like the regular food, but this like stuff for the festival has been really really good this is super flavorful these little chickpeas are super salty if you guys don't like salt i wouldn't recommend it also tzatziki sometimes to me i don't know if it has cucumber in it but it tastes too cucumbery this one's actually really good highly recommend this i think we're off to a good start next up on the list we have our little pizza right here from i heart artichokes y'all i literally have to read it off of the menu because i can't remember all of these names and on top of that too they make a lot of things sound fancy so this is what it is right here. This is the artichoke pizza. It's artichoke and roasted garlic green cheese, cream cheese, not green cheese, cream cheese, <laughs> cream cheese with sun-dried tomatoes, pickled onions, and lemon olive oil drizzle, drizzled micro greens. I don't know why they call this micro greens. This is kind of big. Like in my head, I thought it would be something a little smaller, but let's see how this is. These artichokes are pretty big. Like they, they big old pieces of artichoke. That grease. Oh. Or That's really good. It's very subtle. I thought with all the mixture of things on there that it would be like overly flavorful, but it's very subtle, especially compared to that. Uh, that oh my God, I want to call it guy roll again. The Euro. I definitely do have to say the Euro is better. That started me off really good. I don't know how we're going to beat that within today's video because that was just amazing. This is good. It's just, I don't know, maybe too much artichoke. Hello there, party people. Your I first me. one. I know this is my first uh, entree, and you know. Wait, but you tried the gyro too. I Tell them what the, you think I, about I tried that. It off camera, it was actually pretty good. I love the tzatziki sauce, even though my daddy said he didn't like it. It's kind of weird, but it was pretty good tzatziki sauce. Um, anyways, my first dish is a poutine with you know, kind of a traditional take: a uh, braised beef. You got the gravy, and then you got tater tots instead of normally it's like a uh, French fries or whatever. And so dig on in. I'm taking a tot though. I just wish that uh, the beef was apart, but... Oh yeah, that's one big old chunk of beef. I didn't even notice that. It's just... Oh yeah, they need to shred that. That's not... Whatever. Come on, Disney. Damn, it's so it's so soggy. Like, everything is just falling apart. This is gonna take me like 10 minutes just to try to eat it, man. For real. I'm gonna put the little three hours later. <laughs> Did you get any beef on that bite or no? A little bit, but... It's... It's not as good as I was hoping for because of the uh, the gravy. 
very vinegary. Vinegary, really? Yeah, it tastes vinegary to me. It tastes kind of a little bit. I'm sour. gonna try the tater tot with the with the gravy then on the side. But let's try the beef real quick. Damn, I can't believe they didn't even have the time to shred that. They said here you get one chunk of beef. Yeah, no, it's it's not. I've had I've had so much better. It's it's too um too sour in a sense. Like it's not it's not that good at all. Now I'm curious to try it. I want to see how sour it is. <laughs> yeah. I'll eat it just because I got it, but eh, it's not that good. Give it like a four. A four? Oh, that's yeah. bad, actually. That's under average. The platoon I had during the Lunar New Year, I think it was Lunar New Year, so much better. No, not yeah. Lunar New Year, during the holiday. With the with the candied uh, candied cranberries oh, yeah, on yeah, top, yeah, those, yeah. that was actually good. I liked that. Yeah. This is, yeah. Now, you guys know I am like new to all of this stuff. I want to let you guys know I made a huge mistake because the items are... Like, say, for example, if they're underneath seven dollars and fifty cents, you're not getting your money's worth. You're actually losing out. So I messed up and I ordered all my items and technically my total only came out to like fifty three dollars. So I'm giving Disney a dollar. So do keep that in mind if you guys are going to be doing this. Make sure all of your items are over seven fifty, I would say, to make sure you get your money's worth, because I messed up. All the items I got were probably around seven dollars, which is under the amount. So I'm literally giving Disney money. So make sure you guys are spending more on your items so that way you get more for your money. But I messed up on that and that is a learning curve so that way you guys can know moving forward, don't do what I did and make sure you guys use your sip and saver passes for more expensive items. So that way you're not giving Disney money and all I got out of it was a free lanyard. But now I know for this moving forward, even though I feel like I should have already known that, but it's all a learning curve. Nate got his Snickers Macron. Oh, yeah. Let us know down in the comments below. Is it Macron, Macron, what, what is is it? I got a macro. Dig into that. That looks delicious. Underneath my tray. We actually both got this. I don't know if I just said that or not. And it's also served cold, so that's something worth noting. Bro, how are you supposed to eat it? <laughs> it's so wide. <laughs> just take take a bite a little little piece of it. Yeah, that is pretty hefty. What's the regular price on that? Six twenty five. Six twenty five. Yeah. So that's where I messed up. Well, and Nate too, technically. It's very bomb. Very bomb. Everyone it, said it was really good. But it tastes just like a Snickers, like down to perfection. The only thing that really? does is like how cold it is, so therefore it makes it easier. Let it if, sit out a little bit, huh? And well, also makes it more um, frail, so it just cracks when you try eating it. Oh, yeah. But I know they what you kind of jip you off. Look at that. It's all hollow Dude. on the inside. That's but so big. It's, it's very delicious. And six twenty five for how big it is, too, honestly. Not it, bad, huh? It's worth it. Because it, mac macarons or macaroons or whatever are normally really expensive for small ones. For Disneyland, it's like eight bucks for a small one. Yeah. So this is well worth it. I would, get, I would honestly get like three more of these. A solid eight and a half. Eight and a half. Oh, that's a good rating. I know, it's good. I was not a big Snicker guy. If it was like Twix, oh man, 10 out of 10. I love Twix. So you got ready to eat. So after the poutine froy stuff, I went to Garlic Kissed where I got the carbonara mac and cheese, which is a traditional take on the uh, carbonara, carbonara pasta, like Italy type stuff. So all it is, it's like a white sauce. Like Italy Alfredo. type stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> dude, I love it. When I, when I went to Italy, that's all I ate over there. Really? I, I didn't like it. Well, I like the bacon. That's why the uh, prosciutto or whatever it's called. Prosciutto. But so it's cheese, chives, then you got the bacon, which actually I kind of like the way the bacon looks on here because it's more like fatty bacon. So it I, does I, look fatty. So it's I do like nasty. that. And then there's also just basically a white sauce like Alfredo. And then also from the garlic well, kiss. Try, try that one first. Give them a little review of well, that. Well, I was going to say what else I got, but I guess I'm uh, not no, allowed but to. You know what? They're, they're waiting on you. Um, they want to know how that carbonara is. Does it taste like Italy or not? It's so funny. So it tastes like some microwavable mac and cheese, but I, yet it I tastes tried pretty it. I good. Thought it, yeah, I was about to say. Oh. So well, Nate went to go get some waters. Uh, I actually it, tried some of that. I thought it was pretty good. I like the um the Not little the bread crumbs that they put on there to add that little extra crunch. The little crunch. No, I give it. I give it a solid uh seven and a half, seven and a half eight. It's, yeah. it's pretty good, but like it also gives you like uh, microwavable mac and cheese vibes. I know exactly what you mean because it kind of tastes like that uh that um uh, Stouffer's mac and cheese. Yeah, or the Hungry Man's. I Hunger, think Hunger Man. Yeah. All right, try your uh, whatever that is. Chimichurri? Is that chimichurri? I think it's a chimichurri sauce, but all it is is a top sirloin with a mashed potato layer. Y'all, when I was filming some B-roll for this uh, mashed potato stuff here, the plate is heavy. Like, they put so much mashed potatoes on there. Oh, that's his favorite thing. Y'all know about because the face. 
that chimney, uh, the chimney, the chimney, the, 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 the chimney, chimney sauce on top, the like pesto, whatever it is, that is so bomb. And well, I'm a meat eater. I love me some steak, but this thing is. Hold up, I'm, I'm gonna get this Let's out. Try all that chimichurri. That is the one giant. Okay, I'm gonna try the chimichurri with the mashed potatoes. Do. My favorite thing so far. Oh, my favorite thing so far is the uh, impossible non. Okay, so then what do you rate that then? Damn, them pepper spicy. Hold up. Why'd you eat the pepper, Nate? You know better. Oh my god. Um, I can't eat hot Cheetos, but man, I said screw it and I tried the pepper. That it's pepper got in, seeds in it too. It's biting me in the ass right now. The back of my throat's on fire. <laughs> but who cares about that? Because this tastes, this will put out the fire. But so what do you rate nine. it? A nine? nine? Oh my God. You know what? That might be like the highest rated thing you've ever done. I don't know because at grandma's uh, pie or whatever the hell we had, I gave that like a 10 out of 10. Not grandma's pie, grandma's impossible meatloaf, no? No, the meatloaf was a 10 out of 10. I'm talking about the dessert we had. Oh. Like the, I think it was like pumpkin pie or something, but I love steak. And you like, rated that pretty low though. You're like, eh, it tastes like a regular pumpkin pie. <laughs> I don't remember. Someone comment down what I said. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll be editing the videos. I know. But well, like we're going to see if Nate thinks something is better than that. But that's probably the best thing on the menu for you. Yeah. Well, and the steak itself is very tender. It's and you like mashed nice. potatoes, so. I do. I like me some bangers and mash. Too bad this isn't bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. That's the upscale bangers and mash. So I actually got both of the items from Avocado Time. I'm going to read it to you from the menu. I got the Impossible Nacho Mac and Cheese, which is cheddar mac and cheese featured um, Steve's are featuring seasoned impossible ground beef, tomatoes, olives, jalapenos, and guacamole. And one thing about me, I said it before, I hate olives, like with a passion, and there's so much olives in here. So I'm gonna eat around it. And then I also got the impossible Al Pastor taco, which is just um, Al Pastor impossible pork with grilled pineapple and avocado tomatillo sauce, which I do have to say, this low key kind of seems like a bit of a rip off. Like this right here, I want to say the regular price of this was like seven twenty-five. It looks very sad. It looks extremely. I was expecting sad. too many tacos. Me, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking too. I thought it would be too many tacos, and this is this is it. But hopefully, it's good. I've actually never tried Impossible El Pastor before, so I was like, you know what, I gotta try it. Yeah, you're like trying to eat around the olives. That's a lot of olives. Okay, that is actually good, but it has a lot of pineapple on there. I'm like, I gotta spread the pineapple. Ooh. I like pineapple, but. The pineapple is a lot. The flavor of the alpha firm is really good. But if I had to rate that on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give it a six and a half, maybe a seven. It needs a little bit more um, you know? Now I'm gonna try this and try to go around the um, olives. There's just so many olives. Just eat the olives, suck it up. They taste like blood. Like, can anybody relate? Do it everyone, for the views. Thinks, Ugh, no. Do it for the views. Everyone thinks I'm weird when I say olives taste like blood, but they taste like blood. As okay. a kid, I used to put olives on my fingers and eat them off my fingers. Yeah, some people like them, some people don't. I'm one of the people that don't. So let's go ahead and try this nacho mac and cheese. I'm so stupid at first, I thought it would have chips in there and then mac and cheese on top of it, but it doesn't. It's just mac and cheese with nacho toppings. Mmm. Now this, this is good. This right here, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Definitely has a lot of flavor. I'm just good, cause you know what, for Nate, Nate is a very adventurous eater. So you know what, Nate has inspired me. I'm gonna try it with an olive, Nate, you see? You won't even be able to taste that watch. I'm hoping not, probably, I probably will. You're, you're, you're gonna say you taste it even though you probably can't. I literally can taste it. I literally can. I literally can. It's just so overpowering. I'm literally, I'm gonna take all the olives and put them on the plate. They just taste like blood to me. They taste like, you know how your hands smell after holding some pennies? That's what it tastes like, if that makes any sense. It's just, it's not for me at all. But this is really good, just minus the olives. I wonder if I could have asked them to like not put olives on there. Are people allergic to olives? <laughs> Anyways, this is an eight out of 10. I'll give that a six and a half out of 10, but I'm still gonna eat it because I paid for it. Okay. So, I went to Cluck and Doodle Moo and I'll go. There goes our accents. <laughs> We're already delirious at three o'clock in the afternoon. Oi, I'm uh, I'm very stuffed. When, <laughs> when I when I get like, like I it, I can eat, all right. But man, I don't know why I feel very full. Then again, my sister came along and she fed me more of my uh, the steak, the top sirloin. So how many times have you eaten? 
I've only had three so far. How many? Wait, how many things? Have four. I, how many times have I ate? No, well, like how many different items did you eat? Oh, true. Well, like seven. Oh eight. my god! And you got some more to go. Well, right. I'm eating the leftovers. I'm a garbage disposal. I don't know this. Damn. <laughs> we can't let no food go to waste. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, what do you I got went right now? To Clockadoodle Moo, which is where we got the um, where I got the beef slider there. And then I went to the California Brewery. Is that what it was? California Brew? California Brews, yeah. California Brews. And then I got a, it's called an IPA hot dog. And well, the hot dog is what looks like American cheese melted on top of a uh, King's Hawaiian roll. And then I got like the crunchy onions. Um, I forgot what that's called. And the hot dog reminds me of a bratwurst almost. It does. I was thinking it looked like a yeah. bratwurst, yeah. But the try thing that is, first. They, they put my hot dog on top of the bun and they didn't put it inside, inside of it. Inside so, the bun. So I got to mush it in there and everything. Oh, that's right. There's caramelized onions. I forgot no, about that. No, they're crispy onions on top. No, it has both. That has both. There's oh. caramel and so there's onions galore. Damn, damn. It's gonna smell like your armpits. Damn, they straight up. They look at this. Hold up. They. That's they, inappropriate for Disney. They took the hot dog and they cut it in half. Yeah. How does that make sense? <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it almost it almost popped out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, after that brief intermission, um, he got a little excited there, as you guys can see. He, uh, oh my god, Nick. Yeah. This oh. is a Disney video. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I'm thinking I'm still on the Virgin Cruise Line being a little kid again. <laughs> yeah, that's um, adults only. This ain't adults oh, only. My bad. Anyways. Number one item for me, right off the bat. And I'm I, the one I told him to get that, and he I said it doesn't it. look good. I wasn't going to get it. But I it showed him that one. in the menu booklet, and he's like, hey, like, it doesn't look good. Well, I love King's Hawaiian Roll. So you have the sweet flavor of the King's Hawaiian Roll, and then, oh, I love the crunch. I love anything that has a good crunch to it. So the, and it's uh, a malted vinegar uh, crunch, uh, onion crunch. Yeah, whatever he said. But anyways, I love the crunch, and I love onions. So the two different types of onions really sits over the top for me, and the cheese is on par. The only downside to it is it's still a cased sausage. So that's why I took a little, like, it took a little extra chewy to for me to do. Through. Yeah, so it took a little harder to chew through it, but I solid nine and a half. I'm not going to give it a 10 yet just because of the sausage, but I guess Give it the extra half point so it's more than the sirloin because it was very delicious. Now try that slider. You're gonna be disappointed in that slider. Oh slider yeah, it looks a little dry. I'm mean, you sure about that? I mean there's a lot of Oh yeah, true. The other side looked better. <laughs> That's right, just Arby's. Arby hey, I used to like Arby's when I eat meat. That was me want to throw up with their beef and cheddar, man. Uh, beef and cheddar. Arby's, we have the meat. Yeah, that's what she said. Anyways. Yep, Nate. So, oh my God, we're going to get kicked out of here. I'm cool with the Disney security, but it's, it's not that good. I honestly give it maybe a six. And so it's, it's very, decent. It, it, it's decent. Like, I'm not going to like throw it, kick it off, you know kick it off the street or whatever, kick it in the street, but it's just really not that good. The barbecue sauce is good itself, yeah. And it's not that dry, but it just reminds me a lot of Arby's and it just doesn't have a lot of outstanding flavor because the only flavor it has is just the barbecue sauce. Unlike the hot dog, it has the flavors. Hot dog. Look at it's his got a lot of, Oh yeah, this, this is from the hot dog, but um, the hot dog has so many different flavors. That's what sets it apart from everything else. Definitely when you guys come, you get the top sirloin, you get the top sirloin and you get the hot dog. I just came from um, Peppers Caliente and I got the uh, Camarones a la, a la Diabla and the chili relleno, which I hate saying. Cause I always want to say relleno, you know, like I want to say it right, but then it's just too hard. I do have to let you guys know, and I'm so sorry to Disney, but this shrimp smells real fishy. Like I'm not used to shrimp smelling this. Well, what you call it? What? You know what I, what did I call it? Yeah, you know exactly what I, what did I call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm a, yeah, it smells very fishy. Like, I don't know, maybe it's been sitting there for a while, but I'm gonna give it a go. Watch me end up getting sick. I'm gonna sue you, Disney. The rice is really good. I forgot to mention that it does have a cilantro rice underneath it. The problem with this is there's not enough of the sauce on it. Normally, if I get some camarones a la diabla, like normally it's smothered in sauce. As you guys can see from this one right here, there's like no sauce on it. This one barely has sauce on it. This is the only one that's covered with sauce. So they're really stingy with the sauce, but the flavor is pretty good. And the rice is actually really good. Let me take another bite of this. Okay, so if I had to rate this Camarones right here, I would honestly give it just a 5 out of 10. Like, it just needs way more sauce. The sauce is actually pretty good. It's just 
There's not enough of it. And the rice is really good though. Now, if I had to rate the rice alone. Describe the that's shrimp. That's a seven or eight. Is the shrimp chewy? It's very, oh, it's chewy. It's really fishy. It's, I don't know. Like maybe it's been sitting there for so a while. So he's telling you how the rice tastes. Don't get the shrimp. Well, it comes together. And, well, you, you can know, feed the shrimp to the ducks. I'm still gonna eat it. I need some type of protein. Just, you know, obviously like not eating meat. I need some protein. Anyways, so now I'm gonna eat this um, empanada right here, which actually looks delightful. This is, it has arbol peppers inside of it. And then it does have cotija cheese as well as Oaxaca cheese. So let's see how this is. Mm. Okay, now that, that was bomb. Instantly you can feel the flavor and it has a nice little kick to it. Tiny little kick. That's really good. I would give this like an eight, maybe a nine out of 10. If you guys are going to be heading to the Peppers Caliente, I would highly recommend the empanada over the Camarones. This is just lacking the empanada. Really good. For my very last item, which I'm not even going to be able to finish because I am so full. Okay, so this is the first time that we actually each got our own pass. Normally we just share. I think we probably should have just shared, to be quite honest, because I'm so stuffed and I haven't even been eating my full meals. I've been passing it out to everybody else. I'll take a couple bites and then pass it out and y'all, I'm stuffed. But anyways, for my last item, we couldn't pre-order. This is from the Paradise Garden Grill. This is the um, Impossible Euro Fries. I said it right that time. Give me some credit, Nate. Give me some credit. This is waffle fries topped with um, Euro spiced uh, Impossible ground beef, cauliflower cheese sauce, tom uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, tzatziki, and pita bread. I do have to say, this seems extremely dry. It's like, like your flatbread, but with fries. The flatbread was, I honestly still think after all of my items, I think that the flatbread was number one. Like number one, honestly. It definitely does have the same taste as the flatbread. But maybe because the rest of it is kind of dry, I'm like, eh. I mean, it's pretty good though. I will say on this, I can taste the cucumber more, but it's because they did put cucumber on top. Actually, the more I eat, sorry, I'm like, the more I eat, it is pretty good. I thought it would be a little dry at first, but the tzatziki, I feel like maybe it does balance out with the fries. Maybe that's why I don't put too much because it's very strong. If I had to rate this though, I would still give it maybe a, a five or six out of 10. Definitely go for the impossible non, the very first item that I had, that was like the best. Okay, I forgot to mention too, the flavor of the impossible actually, and this is really good. Like it does have a different seasoning than a normal impossible. Also, I did discover, as I was saying, that it's pretty dry. There's a lot of cheese sauce, but it's just in the center. So I did want to throw that in there as well too, because I was like, you know what? It was a little bit plain. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. As soon as I took a bite of the center like this, my rating went up. I'm gonna up this to a seven now. It de definitely does taste better than my first couple bites because they were really dry, but it was pretty good. So we are calling it a day. Nate over here. The hell, why are you making me chase you like a little goose? Because I just, you know, I don't want the whole group in the background. What if they want to be on camera? Anyways, Andy Nate- likes being on camera. No, she don't. Um, Nate tapped out early, actually. This fool was like calling it a day and I was like, you know what? Maybe because I passed out a lot of my food to my friend and then my dad. Um, this fool had two tabs left over, so I got that two was... Snickers. And then I had another thing that I needed to get, so I got me another um euro to go flatbread yes because Dude. those are my favorite what was your favorite thing i got oh the hot dog the hot dog was the oh. hot dog was so, delicious but that that that's what killed me that put me like ooh, like well, because it was a lot dude you had the bread you had the hot dog and then you had all the cheese, the cheese. oh my gosh so uh, my dad I was like so many you carbs. have to try this he was like so just many. take out the hot dog and then try it so with all the vegetables and the cheese and then the bread it was really good my personal favorite item was food item wise was the euro that snickers macaron that is the best disney dessert i have ever had honestly you know what oh no i was gonna say i agree but then also i still do y'all know i love that pumpkin cheesecake from grandma's grandma's recipes during the holiday that was like bomb.com but this was really amazing if you guys are going to be coming to the food festival i forgot to mention earlier in the video that this does end on april 25th so make sure you guys come before then also do not make the same mistake that i did that was such a big mistake and i just kept on being like Oh, mad at myself that I did that because technically I gave Disney money when realistically you could you come up. Take you know? money from them. <laughs> exactly. You want to rip them. Like, rip say for, them off. if you got eight tabs for $9, like you would have came up. You know what I'm saying? But I messed up. But I do have to say the prices weren't really bad. Normally on Impossible well, stuff, they're more. The Impossible stuff was cheap this time around the last time. Yes. Maybe they didn't like use that. actual Impossible. They used the bootleg Impossible. Yeah. Just that it was Impossible, probably. Anyways, yes. My personal favorite thing was the Impossible Euro non flat 
flatbread. Um, second favorite thing, what did I say was my second thing? The empanada. The empanada was, oh, the empanada was really, really good. Nate said his, what were your first two things? Oh, no, you said two, the hot dog. The, the hot dog, number one, and then the steak. sirloin. Steak, yep. Sirloin, because that was, uh, damn, what was it called? The chimichurri. Chimichurri, That yes. was, that was The chimichurri bomb. was really good. And it mixed very well with the potatoes. Yeah. But a lot of carbs for me. If you guys definitely, you know, are more the meat eater side, you're gonna die doing this. And, um, it's just gonna take you a while to try everything. But don't, this book cleared out his whole place. That's why I'm like, I was passing my stuff out not to my true. dad and friend. I did not finish You're that mm -hmm. Arby's. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the I only did thing. throw that away. I, I couldn't leave the hot dog though. The hot dog was just too good. Anyways, y'all, we will catch you guys in our next video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. Just like you, oh my big god, thumb. the we had to what? cut off there because there was a helicopter flying over and I thought this was a uh, no fly bird. Yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah, but give us a big thumbs up just like Huge me. I'm up. growing for you guys. No. And not in the right way. He's actually lost weight since starting this channel. I mean, it may be only a couple pounds, but still, you know, and I've lost 60 pounds since starting this channel. He's finally saying. admitting I lost weight. He says I keep gaining weight. He is such a liar. He bullies me off camera, guys. Oh, it, it, next thing you know, he's going to start a GoFundMe. Please help me because uh, my brother, brother bullies me. Yeah, I pay for his everything. No, Come I'm going to start a GoFundMe so I can get a hair transplant. I want a hair transplant, fool. That's what I said. I'm I still have hair unlike you. I can grow some. I got like three uh, strands left. I can grow actual hair. It's just I got the McDonald's hairline from my dad. That's about it. McDonald's hairline. <laughs> it's Omnic loving it. Anyways, we'll catch you guys at our next video. Peace out, Girl Bye. Scout.